Well, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Today we're gonna to be playing through, Robbie and I are playing two of the Sorcery Contested Realm Four Elements kind of pre-constructed decks uh, that I was so thankful to receive from Eric over at Sorcery. Uh, awesome, awesome game. It was super fun to play. Robbie and I played a few games. I will say that this is a early release copy of these games, so some cards might change, some mechanics may change, some rules might change. They are still finalizing a lot of the um, elements of the rule book and a lot of the things, so things may change even previous to or prior to the Kickstarter launch on the 15th. Um, but the goal of this video is to ask the question, is Sorcery contested realm realms fun to play uh, and you'll see a gameplay here and you'll see Robbie and I's takes it is it's fun to play it's a good game it's a lot of fun it's interesting uh, the mechanics we're moving around the board are really interesting and fun and they create a different experience than your typical TCG it was a lot of fun uh, so I just wanted to prelude this with uh, the artwork is absolutely fantastic. And of course we're doing a top down camera. I don't have an editor or somebody here running my shows when I'm recording back in my back room. So I couldn't have somebody putting up the card images and that kind of stuff. I would highly recommend that you go to sorcerytcg.com. Uh, I believe it is. I'll, I'll put a link here, but sorcerytcg.com and check out some of the artwork and see the cards for yourself. Uh, without further ado, I hope that you enjoy the, is it fun? video for Sorcery Contested Realm. What's up everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG to uh, Is It Fun? Today we're playing Sorcery Contested Realms, which is a Kickstarter game uh, out of Auckland, New Zealand that launches on March 15th. It's probably already out by the time this video comes out or it's coming out soon. Uh, Robbie and I have played a couple times. Uh, before we get started, we are in no ways experts on this game. This is just uh, ideas. Can we play, sit down, and play some of the uh, two players, you know, the, the starter decks, and have a good time playing it out of the box? Uh, it's not meant to be a how to play video, or I'm sure things will be played wrong. If you have played this game, please leave it in the comment section of where we make some mistakes so everybody can learn. And uh, we'll hang out. I'm playing the Avatar of Wind. Um, the artwork in this game is absolutely phenomenal. I'm playing the Avatar of Wind. Robbie's playing the Avatar of Fire. She has a salamander on her neck. Pretty dope. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of hop into place. So to start the game, you draw three cards out of your spell book. And these are your atlas, and your atlas is kind of like your resource system and also a lot of the movement interaction. So we may be checking in on some rules as we're playing and that kind of thing. Uh, it's just the way things are, so. Yep, we're uh, still babies. You wanna just roll to go first? I don't remember how you're supposed sure. to. Just to roll to this. You got a 10. I got five. I know, nope, that's five. a 10, that's a six. Oh, well we got we the tied. same thing. One. All right, I All right. win, I'll go first. <laughs> Um, so first we don't draw from anything, correct? Yes, you do not draw. I will tap my avatar to play that remote desert in front of me. And then that's gonna be my turn because all my cards are too expensive. Cool. So this, he has basically one uh, mana in his mana pool. Right. Because he control, he has one, uh, what are these called? Landmarks out there? Sites. Sites. On Sites. Site. All right, I do get to draw. And I'm gonna draw from my spell book and not from my atlas that so you get to choose. There's no maximum hand size in this game, which is important. Um, uh, I'm gonna play the observatory here. I get to look at the four spell book cards and put them back in any order. Interesting. All right, and I'll put them in that order. And then I will tap my avatar of wind uh, to play a site. Oh no, I tapped, you have to tap your avatar to play the site. Right. To do that, all right, uh, so that's my turn, go ahead. All right, um, I think I'll go ahead and draw from my atlas again. Another important thing is when you're playing your sites, you can only put them in an adjacent spot. So from um, a site that you already own. Uh, so is it adjacent or nearby? To play a site, it has to be adjacent. Okay. 90% sure. So that would be in front, behind, or to either side um, that I could play a new site. 
Um, and then nearby would include the corners if there's a card effect that says nearby. But anyway, I'm going to tap my avatar of fire and play. Um, I'm going to play my river of flame, a unique site where pure rage spills forth. And then therefore I have two mana, which in turn. Your effect is adjacent. I was right. Mm -hmm. I will play my sacred scarabs. They're airborne and on death. They blow up and deal splash damage to all nearby slots. Go ahead. Does that include you? Yeah. I would assume so. Yeah. All right, I will draw from my spell book. I'm going to play Cloud City. Here. Okay. And then I will play Spectral Stalker. Um. Um, back here. Gotcha. Void walk. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Um, I'll draw from this. Uh, sorry, uh, then at the, at the end of turn, if this avatar is on a wind site, you may fly it one step to a nearby site. Gotcha. All right. So, I should untap. But then I'm gonna go ahead and tap again to play the red desert underneath my avatar. So any um, space that doesn't have a site in it is considered a void. Uh, so we can't move any of our creatures there unless they have specific abilities. They're kind of just null zones until we claim them. I have three mana. I'm going to summon my Petrosian Cavalry. Um, essentially, it has haste. This cavalry may move or attack right away when summoned. Um, and so what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to move and attack your avatar with my Sacred Scarabs. Okay, I'm going to def... Mm, if I blow it up, it takes three... <laughs> I'm going to take three. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to kill your... Uh, I would not kill your cavalry. Either way, this is kind of taking damage. All right, good play. All right, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna defend. So if you have an adjacent um, uh, minion. minion, you can move and defend. So I will defend. Okay. Um, so I will kill, so the damage here, three attack is hitting one. one. So scared scarabs will blow up. Right, and then it deals three splash damage, but I think your minion can soak it up and you won't take the avatar damage. Oh yeah, so I would take two. Does that you don't think that I, I think that probably tramples over. Splash damage. I think that's how we played it before. Gotcha. Splash. Uh deals damage with it. It's not dealt to the site. Right. Everything above ground on the same site, so it damaged both things. Oh it gets both of them? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. So yeah. everybody's dead and then so you this take is three. dead and that's dead. No, he only takes two. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, I take three. Right. And then I will move and attack your avatar with my Petrosian Cavalry for another three. Mm, I did not play that right. Oh, uh, didn't you just summon? Oh, it has... Haste, essentially. Mm, yes, yeah, so I didn't play that right. I should have... <laughs> Let my beetle hit you for one and then walk my cavalry. Yeah, your beetle would have still been alive, though. Yes. All right, so I'll take three. Like getting rid of your beetle was kind of like it had to happen at some point. Right. I probably chose like the absolute worst time. Worst, for that. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> but you know, you live and you learn. And then that's my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw from my spell book again. Health regenerates on our minions at the end of every turn. They go back to their base health. 
Actually, my cavalry's dead. Why? Or was your avatar tapped? Your avatar was tapped. Never mind. You had to tap it to move it. I was going to say your avatar would have defended and dealt my final damage, but it was tapped. Is that how that works? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you have to declare attack. All right. Uh, I'm going to. One, two. I'm going to play. Uh, this won't really help me much, but I'm going to tap and play. Um, updraft Ridge here. And then I'm going to. Uh, let's spend two mana, so I have three mana. I'm gonna spend two mana and chain lightning and kill the cavalry. Okie dokie. RIP, boys. Here you go. Um, first ion, tap. And then I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and just draw from my atlas. Um, okay, interesting. Firebound. Will you switch up what Firebound does in the keywords while I'm doing this? Um, firebound. Yep. Firebound. I'm assuming it means it has to be on a flame site. I'm going to summon Shifting Sands. Test base. Yeah, it side. dies when it's not on a fire site. Interesting. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> in which case, no. No taxis, backsies. You live and you learn. Then I will... Spend one, two, three, four to summon Sandworm Burrowed underneath my remote desert. Burrowing puts them underground essentially. They are immune to all damage, which is very nice. And then that will probably be my turn. I summon my Sandworm. All right. Um. I'm gonna draw from my atlas. I'm gonna tap and do another observatory here. The top four cards of my spell book. This, my worm, is five damage. He cost me four. I'm gonna play um, ball lightning. Mm. Oh wait, that's burrowed? It is burrowed. damage but kind of out of luck here uh, no I'm not all right I'm gonna ball lightning for launch this ball in a cardinal direction straight deal seven damage to the first avatar minion it hits excess damage carries over so mm. it'll hit you for seven and then I'm going to at the end of my turn if this avatar is on a win site you may fly it one step to a nearby site interesting my turn? Mm -hmm. I'll untap my avatar. I'll go ahead and draw. What? Now, I'm playing that. There's not a lot of rules in the rule book. If it said move it, I would have to tap it and move it, but it says fly it. Like, it's not taking a move action? No, because then I think the, the like the ability would be worthless. I think that's it would just how be the, moving. That's the, just making sure yeah. I understand. I, that might be one of the things that we, we get wrong. Well, that's what I think. Also, the artwork on these cards, beautiful, if Absolutely. you haven't noticed. It's yeah. great. I wish we could have somebody back there pulling up the artwork. <laughs> right. We don't have Where's that. Where's Joey when we need him? Yeah. Let's see. Um... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. 
How? I just did an interview with the creator and was showing off the artwork, so people probably saw that. For this game? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap this to play this site here. Arid Desert. Um, you have to tap your avatar to play a site, by the way. I feel like we've said that three times. Or zero. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to spend two resource points to summon the Wayfaring Pilgrim. You and your pilgrims. An elite mortal on a spiritual journey. He's an elite. Uh, he's a spellcaster. Whenever he visits or is summoned to a corner of the realm for the first time, I draw a card. And other utter gnat. That's my turn. It's important to note the goal of this game is to get your opponent to death's door, which is getting them down to zero life, and then they are immune for the rest of the turn, and then you have to kill them again. Uh, it's kind of interesting there. Um, I held on for dear life last game. I'm gonna take an atlas. Perfect. I'm gonna tap this to play. We're like coming up to like a... I know, that's what I was just thinking. It's kinda... There, I gain one mana until the end of the turn, so I now have six mana. One, two, three, four, five, and then one that I got from that entering. So six mana. Um, I'm going to play <coughs> an Apprentice Wizard here. Uh, that has Genesis draw a spell. Ooh. So when it enters, I draw a spell. That's nice. Okay, so adjacent, oh, it just says one step to a nearby site. I don't know. If I made these, this two adjacent, would that make this nearby then? What do you mean, if you made them adjacent? Yeah, so it says it may fly one step to a nearby site. You mean if you made a, use a spell to make them adjacent? Then yeah. Yeah, they should be. Okay. So then I'm going to play Waypoint Portal, my, my three mana left. Okay, I'm looking up adjacent. Is it just... Yeah, you're right. That would be nearby. I'm going to play Waypoint Portal. Two target sites are adjacent until the end of turn. Uh, I get to draw a spell. And okay. then end of, uh, at the end of turn, if this avatar is on a wind site, you may fly it once up to a nearby site. And I'm going to put them over here. Interesting. I like it. Okay, my uh, turn. It's important to note the Apprentice Wizard is a spellcaster, so I can cast spells utilizing his... Um, right, like the spells yeah. like Chain Lightning or... Yeah. Something like that. Gotcha. So is my pilgrim. I think I said that already. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw from my atlas to grab a sight. Haha. -ha. So I'll tap my avatar to play remote desert in spot 11. Genesis, you may have this desert deal one damage to a nearby target. I'm gonna attack your apprentice wizard. Boo. And kill him. <laughs> and then. Love, 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 love. I'm going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six sites. I will use four. Um, to summon my Clamor Harpies. They're airborne. Their Genesis ability is move a weaker minion from anywhere in the realm to these harpies locations. If that in minion is an enemy one, those harpies attack it. I don't think that's, um, I think that I have to do that. It doesn't say you may or may not. Yeah. I don't think it's optional, so my pilgrim yeah, is gonna join my ladies. Minions, and then they have to fight? No, it says if it's an enemy. Oh, gotcha. That's all right, they're kind of hot. They can hang out. Although if he's on a spiritual journey, maybe he's not interested in women. And that's my turn. I got nothing after that. This stupid firebound guy, I can't attack you with him or he dies. Right, what would be the intersection of four locations? That would be like one, two, three, four, like anything, the center of four adjacent slots. Okay. I'm going to, I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. I don't like not having cards in my hand. Yeah, this is, uh, I have a lot of cards in my hand here. Wow. Mm. Stealth. It's 
So they're pretty much invisible unless they attack. Yeah. I'm gonna... Do two stealths there. Ooh. Dead, dead of Night Demon, an ordinary demon stalks the witching hours, and Midnight Rogue, an ordinary mortal lurks in the dark. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> I can't talk. Okay, um, and then my avatar, I'm gonna tap to draw an atlas. Okay. And then I'm going to pass her. Okay, I want to tap my avatar. I think I'll draw from my deck and then tap him, her, excuse me, to draw from my atlas here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then let's see. Um, Remember you can move Sandworm. I can to my, my own sites though. Uh, I see. He's firebound. If I moved him here or here, he would die. Gotcha. Is the issue I'm running into, but um, let's see. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is move my pilgrim forward and attack your empty site there for one. Okay. So you take one damage, because your sights. Yep. Yep, so if your avatar or no minions are on a site that you control, you can attack that empty site and deal damage to them directly. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my Clamor Harpies to deal three damage to you. And then I'm gonna spend two resource points to cast Heat Ray. Um, since my Pilgrim is a spellcaster, I'm going to choose this direction, and each site of these three spaces will take two splash damage. Uh, yeah. So that would kill your rogue. Not your stupid demon. Um, okay, and then I think I'm going to call that a decent turn. That's pretty good. Lanks. I did it myself. Uh, I'm going to draw there. 13, 10. I am going to one, two, three, four, five, play the tower uh, and gain one mana till the end of the turn. That puts me at seven. Uh, and then I'm going to play Nightmare. I can't attack you if you're bird, right? Right. Although I think the way that that would work is you could attack the site. Oh, that's true. So you could attack the site and I could choose whether or not to defend or to let the attack go through. Is how that Undefended would work. Undefended site. Yeah, but I could choose, uh, I think, whether or not to let okay. the attack go through. I'm going to put it there anyway. Um, okay. And then I'm going to... Oh, shoot. No. I thought I could move that over here, but I can't because it's not a <laughs> Uh I'm going to put it... I'll put it here. Yeah, I was going to say, you're kind of stuck over there, aren't you? I'll put it here. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'll tap my avatar to draw a... From your atlas. No, I tapped it to put the talk tower down. Yep. I will draw from my spell deck, untap my avatar before that technically. Haha. <laughs> I'm sure that tapping is annoying for everyone who's. Oh, yeah, I forgot if there's microphones and stuff around, huh? <laughs> I was thinking, alright, the gears were turning. Let's see. Um, oh, wait, did I forget? Can we, can I? Uh, no. No? I meant to go like this and attack your thing. Oh, last turn? Yeah. No, I'm not letting you do that. All right, Get out of here, we're on camera. I'm not being nice. I have to win. 
Oh yeah, that'll be your first win ever. Uh huh. Remember that other video we shot on beat you? I think. Um, okay, so. I'm gonna untap these two. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna move the harpies and attack your avatar for three. I think you can block with your nightmare or take three damage. You can, yeah, because it's not summoning sick anymore, technically. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. But my harpies are airborne. At any point during your players may phase, the player may tap a minion or avatar they control to block an attack against an avatar. Yeah, I think you can block it even though it has airborne. I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure you can, because if you think about it, my harpies are like swooping down, so they're on the ground, so they can attack you. Yeah, and minions can block at any time they are after they are summoned. Something like this does not apply. Okay. So you're gonna block. Yeah. Okay, so my harpies will die, and you'll take my two. Three. Yeah, and you fell for my trap card. I'm sure I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna use five resource points to deal five splash damage at target location near your spellcaster or dragon. Here's my spellcaster. Here's my chosen location. Five splash damage. Cool. So I get to decide how the splash damage is. No damage to everything. Yeah, right? we've. Yeah, so that's what I we take decided. Five, and that dies. <laughs> Did you like my encouragement to like, oh, you can block with your when nightmare. I, had to, I would have died basically then. Pretty close, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was really fun. I enjoyed that. Um, and then I'm going to tap my avatar to play Cornerstone. So this special site um, may be played on a corner square and not adjacent to any site. Wait, so that means I couldn't put it there because no, no one could put it there. I would have to put it here. Well, poopy. See, my goal is to like, go there and then I draw a card, but whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna move this guy back. Do I have to tap when I move? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's back and tapped. Okay. This is not going well. Not for you. My turn? Yep. See, last game when we didn't record, I got smoked. It was yeah, bad. That's true. I was on death's door for like three turns. All right, <laughs> I'm going to... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Can I do that? One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six. Shoot, I can't do it. No, you Seven. can't. Dang it. You can untap. Do you not have any sights? No. No. Oh. Uh, speaking of which, I should have to draw a sight. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. Uh, I got spoiled with my Genesis Lone Tower last time. <laughs> uh, I don't understand how to play with that one. I feel like I can't. Relics, I'd have to spawn it on my site, right? Relics, I think so, yeah. yeah. You can't put them in a void. Or even oh, opponents. Okay. Um, online, no. I don't think I'm so. I'm gonna do thunderstorm here. Um, um, road, remember if it has anything to do with that. Conjure at an intersection of four locations on which one is a uh, wind site. So I'll do thunder here. Uh, at the start of your turn, which is not now, move this thunderstorm one step in a random cardinal direction and deal three damage to target minion. Uh, on an affected site. So it's just like a random storm thing that goes off. I'm going to put this oh, okay. on top of my library to remind me to do that. Uh, then I'm going to stealth attack three here. Uh, so you'll take, uh, yeah, I guess. Well, I can block. Dang it. I'm going to stealth attack here for three. Okay. That one I'll just have to take. So he's not stealthy anymore. Right. But okay. I'm going to attack. And I took the three. Yeah. Sadly enough. My turn. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm on, uh, I'm gonna draw from my library spell deck and then tap that guy to draw a sight. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, interesting. <sighs> hmm. All right, I'm gonna use my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven resource points to cast Major Explosion. Splash damage, choose a center site up to two sites away from your spellcaster. I'm gonna choose this spellcaster. I'm gonna use this site. 
Um, so the spellcaster takes no damage. So on the center site, you take seven damage. Um, this would be three, but it's not going to do any damage. This deals me no damage because this space is nulled. Um, this doesn't take damage, of course. And then, so it's really just you taking seven damage. I'm on death's door. On death's door. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that little grid pattern is kind of how they the can damage see is. You're not showing it to the camera. Down. Yes, I am. You're not. I'm you're not. The oh, I guess you do kind of have the screen, don't you? Yeah. Whatever. I think I was right. right to begin with. I'm okay. screwed. Now you're on death's door. Um, that's my turn. No, it's not. I'll untap this guy and then tap and move him here. I can do that right corner wise, diagonally. It doesn't have to be adjacent. I think so. Okay, that's fine. And then I get to draw a card. All right, I have Thunderstorm here. I have to roll a d20. 15 to the right. Nothing happens. Wait, so how does that work? No, right, go ahead. It is damage to a minion. I'm gonna tap to play oh, I see Lone the... Tower, uh, which gives me one mana. Um, puts me at eight mana this turn. Uh, I'm gonna play Hounds of Onodorus. That's gonna kill you. Here. Okay. I'll cast you. Untap my fancy avatar, untap my spiritual journey man, and I will draw here. Um, so if this says play near your spellcaster, that can be Anything any any the, nearby. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So I'm going to tap and move my Wayfaring Pilgrim. Um, I'm going to tap my avatar to play this site. Don't know why. I can have it deal one damage to a nearby target. Could I do that to your avatar? Yeah. And then kill you? I think so. Oh, that's not as fun. <laughs> I'm going to do it to your dogs. <laughs> That's, is that how you kill? You did that last last game. You didn't kill me, but that, you did the damage. You killed close. one of my minions like that. I think. Yeah, that's that's an anno that's annoying. So technically, I could do that and just be a jerk, or I can use four resource points to play flash fires. I'm gonna play it near my spellcaster. So now you're just overkilling. Now me? I'm just overkilling yeah, you. Gotcha. And it deals four splash <laughs> damage wherever it is summoned. And then yeah. you're dead. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. That was uh, not my first victory against Louis, as much as he would like to say. Yeah, let's say a couple things. First off, uh, there we should have said this earlier, but there may be some changes to the cards that happen uh, when the actual Kickstarter is out. Uh, this is a very early release thing. Um, super fun. I like the It's movement. a blast. I, th I feel like if we played another 10 times, we would, it would be a little bit more competitive than that. Like we've oh, already, we've sure. already played a couple times, so like figuring out how competitive it is, uh, I think we'll play a couple more and maybe we'll do another video, but um, super fun. Like the movement, trying to figure out if you should be drawing from your atlas or if you should be drawing from your spell book. And you have to claim your territory. Like I got a little too. bit like, I got, I got a little bit I tried to corner you up. Yeah, I got a little over resource. I didn't really have, well I didn't draw some of the stuff that I was drawing last game. Like my. I drew this um, this thunderstorm, which just like yeah, this is the same and, thing. And like I drew this devil's eggs, that at the start of the owner's turn, the owner on the site uh, loses two life. Devil's eggs. Like, if I yeah, egg. like egg. If I had ever been up on life, I could have probably tried it and tried to get it to you. Um, definitely fun though, and like the artwork is super thematic. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't we didn't even play any relics or anything this no, game. Yeah. Last game I played a doomsday device that was kind of fun to chase yeah. that around and to, to see what That was had. pretty fun. Relics are fun. They're pretty much just items that can be dropped by uh, your minions and you can pick them up and yada yada. Those are pretty actually pretty neat. Did you have fun? Oh, I think this game's fun, yeah. What's, fun? What, what's, what's the most fun about it? Do you like the, the movement? Most? I like... Um, like the unpredictability, like every game's different because you have to like plan your sights out and stuff. And it was kind of fun to like try and corner you up over there. Yeah, and I feel like so like you never attacked me with this worm. Is that because it was burrowed? And you no, it's because it was firebound, and I couldn't move oh, it off my I fire kept, sights. I kept wondering why you weren't attacking my because it would have died. It couldn't do that. Okay. Right. Yeah, gotcha. I couldn't. I couldn't have moved it, so there's I just a, left him for defense. There's a lot of things like that that um, I think. Identify like I don't know if I was playing too many uh, sites, 
but then you know, like there's that. I don't balance. know. I have more sights than you, though. Because it's it's a cool balance. Because the more sights that you play, the more things that your opponent can attack. That's true. So yeah, like, I had a lot of empty ones that you could have attacked. I feel like if you're deck building, there could be a strategy to play a lot of low cost things in your deck, so, like, so you don't have as many things. Space. You know what I mean? Like I think that could be kind of cool. Um, definitely fun. I definitely think exploring it more would be on the on the table. I know there's a TTS mod, um, but I like playing in person. Uh, Rob, you've been too busy. Yeah, um, I work a lot. The direct damage is really interesting. Like the the whole splash jammer stuff and like right, it would be fun to play against the different decks and stuff. So, For all sure. in all, super fun, really uh, thematic. Uh, last game, I think I was at seven life when I beat you. Uh, you're oh yeah, I was dead dead. So it, it's been a little spiky, but I think that's probably just our lack of knowledge on the game. Um, oh for sure. But, you know, I, maybe not. Um, artwork is incredible. The thematicness of it's really fun. This is, it's pretty easy to pick up and learn. The um, the rule book's pretty straightforward. That's what I was kind of doing, just searching stuff on the rule book while we were playing just to make sure we we're doing things right. But um, seems pretty cool. Seems really fun. The Kickstarter launches March uh, 15th. So make sure you check that out. Artwork is Let's phenomenal. See. Head to Sorcery. Uh, what is it? Sorcery, SorceryTCG.com. SorceryTCG.com. Check out some of the artwork and uh, take a look at it. Anything else to say, Robert? I don't think so. I had a blast though. Certified. What, what was it that we were going to say? Like kitchen Certified table? Kitchen table. <laughs> kitchen table TCG. Certified fun. No, we're not making it a thing. It's a thing now. It's been <laughs> both videos. It has been in both videos. You're right. Uh, yeah, th definitely fun. Uh, definitely. Uh, engaging a different TCG experience than playing cards. Like you're moving it. Like when I moved right, my I like avatar, building the battle. Like when I moved my avatar from here to here, it kind of shifted the whole thing. My whole and maybe I should have moved it back. Uh, you, you know, know but uh, it kind of shifted the whole dynamic of the game. So cool. Awesome. Super fun. Cool. Remember to be kind to the people around you. Check out Sorcery Contest Realm. Check out the interview I did uh, with the creator, Eric. And um, Check all that stuff out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And we'll probably do this a couple more times. We'll probably hop on and play this. Maybe we'll do a stream. That could be fun. Oh, that'd be so fun. Tonight we could do a stream and play. Everybody and can, can make fun of us live. Make fun of us live. <laughs> that stuff the stuff we're doing wrong. We'd have to see, see if I can set that up. But. All right. Thanks, awesome. everyone. Have a good day. Be see you guys. People around you.